Hey everyone, we are here with Abby Darkstar of RPF Fame and Fortune. Abby, I'm hoping you'll have time to answer some questions. The first one I have for you, and it's actually an important question for me personally. Can you tell me what is the difference between costuming and cosplaying? <laughs> oh, that's a... That's a subject that's been highly debated. It's a hot and, debate. Uh, I think by my answer, I might like get these. The this yeah. is going to generate hate yeah, mail. Yeah, this is a hate okay. mail. Um, for me, preface that. <laughs> preface that. My okay. my opinion: the difference between cosplay and um, costuming mm -hmm. is the genre. Okay. For me, cosplay is mostly anime related. Um, things that have come mostly out of Japan or are more cartoon anime related. Okay. Uh, things like Inuyasha, Scrapped Princess, um, Chrono Crusade, the classic things like that. I don't know any of those. <laughs> those are anime. Okay, gotcha. Um, I think those are more cosplay. Okay. Uh, costuming for me is the, the video game industry is the more western culture of geekery, you could say. Okay. Maybe things like Halo, DC Comics, Marvel Comics, Things that are a more Western-centered um, interests. Okay. So for me, that's the difference. So what about something like um, Battle of the Planets or Gatchaman? Because that's kind of like an American version of a Japanese. Which one is that? See, I would say that was more cosplay because it is originated in Japan. Okay. You know, even if it's been Americanized. Okay. It's. I mean, it's like a fan dub. Or okay. A dub. Okay. No. Still. Now, do you? both cosplay and costume? Um, I haven't really done a lot of anime costumes. I enjoy anime a lot. Oh, okay. Um, I like the classics, you know, uh, Scrap Princess is what is my favorite anime. Okay. Um, I love Sailor Moon. You know, the basic mainstream thing, although I do have a, a, a affination to uh, Vampire Knight, which isn't available. One of your favorites? Yeah, it's, it's like it's like my Twilight confession. It's, oh, it's no. a bad vampire anime. That's a guilty just, pleasure. Huh? Yes, um, but I have done a few anime like costumes. Mm -hmm. um, one of the first costumes I did, I had commissioned from God Saves the Queen, mm -hmm. uh, Kathy, an amazing, amazing costume designer. I cannot recommend her enough. Uh, she did um, my PS3 title, Folklore. There was two costumes from it. Ellen, she wore two different costumes in the game. So that was a direct uh, Japanese release. So I, that's really the only cosplay costume I okay. have. Now, Abby, one of the questions I'm really kind of curious about is uh, what got you into costuming? Like, what, what first got you started down that dark and expensive path? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Emphasis on the expensive, yeah. <laughs> less on the dark. Um, I'm gonna blame my dad. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I grew up, uh, my father had mostly stayed home with me. My mom went to work because my father was injured when I was young hmm. and he could no longer, he had like four back surgeries, two hip surgeries, wow. you know, six inches of solid spine fused together. Wow. So dad stayed home with me and mom was at work. Hmm. And my afternoons were Battlestar Galactica, Doctor Who, Star Trek The Next Generation, yes. classic, you know. 80s cartoons, you know, we'd sit there, we watch Ninja Turtles or He-Man together, Ghostbusters, we'd watch cartoons and, and then go... Wait a minute, I'm sorry, what, are you trying to tell me that a cute girl is interested in nerdy things? Uh, beyond interested in nerdy things, bring on the nerd trivial Man. pursuit. Man, um. <laughs> whoa, this is mind-blowing video here, folks, this is world first. Um, my dad and I would... You know, we read a lot of science fiction books together, yeah. we, we were discussing, so... Growing up with that influence, I just I enjoyed it. I identified with it. I, I loved it. Mm -hmm. So that's how it got started. You know, it was comic books. It was sci-fi books. It was fantasy books, and I, <laughs> I had a flair for the dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> um, I was in theater from middle school to high school on into college. Yeah. And once I was in college, I realized that as much as I enjoyed theater. It really wasn't a career path for me. And the people that can make it in theater, I give them credit because it's it's not for me. Um, I began switching my degree to education-related history, to be precise. But I still had a, a need for a creative outlet. Mm -hmm. And I went to my first comic book convention. I'm looking around. I'm saying, hey. Which comic book? Uh, it was Megacon. Oh, okay, cool. Megacon. Very good. Uh, and and when was this? Oh, God. Five years ago? Ten years ago? Uh, 
2005, 2006. Oh, okay, so pretty I, recently. Yeah, and I looked around and I was like, hey, there's people running around in costumes. I can do that. Very and cool. And I did the next year. And What I, was your first costume? Oh, God, it was a really bad Anita Blake costume because I, I was reading I the sorry, comics. I'm sorry, I don't know who Anita Blake is. Um, she's a vampire. Is, that, is she from Twilight? Is no, that, okay. no, okay, do not, I'm not a Twilight. <laughs> sorry, sorry, hate me, but I don't like Twilight. Buffy Steak Edward the end. Um, <laughs> um, it was a really bad Anita Blake costume, although my shirt was canon and correct. Yeah. Um, and then I started, Poison Ivy's always been one of my favorite characters. Now hold on, let me back up to that first mm -hmm. costume you did. Yeah. When you were putting that together, um, what resources did you have at your disposal? Were you using online forums? Did you have friends who were in the hobby? It was all you. It was me and a hardback edition of the Anita Blake comic. Now, did you sew your own pieces? Did you? How, what's um, the, um, because Anita wears mostly like t-shirts, jeans, you know, different stuff like that. Yep. It, I could mostly assemble it from honestly right. things I had in my wardrobe. What I did do differently was I um, can't draw with crap, okay. so I had a friend who was a fantastic artist um, named Rob, and he had drawn me a copy of one of the shirt she had worn mm -hmm. and so I had taken that and I had put it onto a shirt because she wears like these iconic um, penguin t-shirts mm, okay and I it was zombies are cool and I had it, I had it <laughs> and I, I made okay. it and then I cool. assembled it with um, jeans and a trench coat and you know just really copied the costume as much as possible put a black wig with it but nobody really got it. That was my next question. Yeah. What kind of reaction did you get? Well, Anita Blake wasn't popular at the time. Yeah. Well, not so much. The comic had just really first started coming out, and nobody really got it. They loved my shirt because it said zombies are cool. Okay. And they were like, I like your zombie shirt. I'm like, like, yeah, it's a, it's a character jerk. Thanks. 